Okay, so this is a continuum of the spot portable welder. I want to disassemble and see what is inside. I'm sure that it will be what I'm thinking about, but I want to make sure what I expect to see is high power MOSFET and uh, lithium polymer battery of about 5 amps and uh, basically this is all very simple controller so let's find out <coughs> okay so just a, a screws from this side from the other side which is better to take out this is a good question okay let's do it basically not recommended to do it and if you are doing it maybe make sure that the battery is not like mine fully charged you can see here that the battery is glued this is a uh, better than not glued so it will be a little difficult to take it out and uh, let's open the other side and decide what to do <coughs> so this was on the side of the logo so let's go to the other side again just for screws all the screws side of the battery and this is exactly what I don't like I will explain first of all if you will be able to see the MOSFETs are inside here on this side there are one two three four MOSFET only <coughs> and this is the lithium polymer battery that is glued and everything is glued so I can't really take it out now what I don't like is that I don't see isolation between the metal part of, of the batteries that can short the, the, the PCB so I'm not going to open it further but I will show you what I'm going to do in order to make it safer in a minute so basically I have here, uh, this is transparency film for laser printer, so what I, it's, I of course will use it as isolator, so I will put it between the battery and the PCB, this way I will feel safer than it is right now, so let's see the dimension and then we'll see how much I can insert inside and cut it and this is basically what I expect the manufacturer to do in order to, to it will be safer because I don't want any short in the PCB while working with this so okay it's better to cut it bigger than smaller because I want to cover as much parts that I can okay so let's try to insert it somehow in a minute so maybe I will try to because I don't see that I can uh, put it very well maybe I will try to take it out somehow Let's see how to do it without damaging anything. So there is a hot glue on the side, on the top. So maybe if I will gently try to remove, yeah, it is going out. Uh -huh. This is nice. I can take it out 
So this is the battery and this is all the welding. Okay. So what I'm going to do, aha, uh -huh, they stick it also to the PCB. So th there is maybe an isolator. Let's see if I can put another isolator. Yes, I can. I can, so this is what I'm going to do. So gently. Take it from side to side. Okay, I, I could. Oh, I could put it from one side to the other. So this is good. So I will cut to the exact side. So now I have additional isolator in this PCB maybe I can even no oh, they, they put okay there is a glue from the battery uh, to the PCB so I'm not going to open it so now I have added another uh, part for doing the isolation now I feel much better with it that I know that there is an additional isolator inside so this is what I talked about there is no fuse there is nothing that will prevent explosion if there is a short inside or something happens or I don't know what so you have maybe uh, the safety of this metal box but eventually if this will explode so the metal box can melt from the heat I guess so uh, anyway this is what I have right now so there is nothing to complain now let's try to put everything back oh, it was the other side I think it was in this side by the glow of the battery I can see it question is how to insert it Aha. it's not a simple task to get it back to its place So eventually uh, added the isolator so I feel better it will probably will not explode and even if it will so I have additional protection I did I couldn't see the battery capacity but by the, the size I can tell that it is at least five amps hour I think so. Connecting the props. 
I'm doing uh, on the level. Let's change the level. I'm at the middle level now. But I've seen that the levels are pretty well done. The power of this one is pretty high. So maybe I will show you how it is welding with a zoom maybe. It will be nicer to see it in a zoom. So let's zoom on the battery. While doing it. Okay. So maybe I will remove the light. It will be easier to see it like this. So take a look. Okay, you can see this is not the high level. I like the the sound uh, that it is preparing you before it is doing uh, the actual melting. This is nice. Okay, so now again, I'm not on the high, not even close to the high power of it. And it is pretty well working, I have to say, if you will be able to see. So, there are, there are holes in the metal, so you can see the tiny holes. This is a well, a well welding, well welding, okay, nice name, well welding. Okay, so this is the BIFRC. For MOSFET, I, I almost choose that each one of the MOSFET, MOSFET is at least one amp out or even more and pretty nice, nice job they done, I have to admit. So that's all, thank you and bye.